Hello again. Today we will be cleaning out a computer and I'll be showing you step-by-step -step guide on how to do that. Um, pretty much every computer is almost identical, uh, plus or minus a few components. And uh, you're going to need the same thing for any computer you're going to want to clean. So what we have here are paper towels, a bottle or two of dust off, you're going to want a dust a mask of some sort. Goggles are always nice, but you don't have to have those. And some kind of multi-surface uh, cleaning chemical. Also, I'm going to be installing a TV, uh, video capture card. This, is, this one is PCI, but they're pretty much all the same. PCI Express, um, any, any type really. Alright, well first things first, you're going to want to come to the back of the computer. There's going to be usually two thumb screws, one on top, one on bottom. And you should be able to just twist them off with your thumb. If not, there's a slot where you could insert a flathead or a Phillips screwdriver and unscrew it to your desire. And these just pop right off like so. Mine happens to have a handle. Yours may not. And they just come right off. If you have a fan on the side, you're going to want to disconnect that before you pull it out any further. Right there, you just pull it out. And as you can see, or I hope you can see, my computer is very, very dusty. So what we're going to do is um, I'm going to get both sides of the case off. As you can see, there's more thumb screws here and there. And we're just going to take both sides off for uh, ventilation purposes. We're going to want to do a nice thorough cleaning. So I'm going to do that and I'll get back to you. Alright, well, as you can see, we have both sides of the case now off. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to use our can of dust off to uh, slowly uh, remove the dust. You do not want to use a vacuum. People have said that they use a vacuum. They are idiots. You do not want to put a vacuum in here. It could get very dangerous and you could break something. At this point, you want to uh, remove all these fans. Yeah, uh, my case has two fans here. Yours might have one or more, depending what kind of case you have. And uh, I'm also going to remove the one on the door. They all remove pretty much the same way. Uh, the ones on the case usually have uh, four Phillips screws on them. And uh, just grab a screwdriver and remove those, and it will be ready to go. So let me just show you something on the dust off really quickly. Alright, well you have the can of dust off and it comes with a little straw like uh, uh, device. So what you want to do is you want to insert this. Uh, I really like to insert it. You don't have to, but I do. I love inserting it. And the reason why is more pressure. More pressure removes more dust. So there you go. Right there. All right. Well, we got the back fans out, and now that we have um, one more fan right here in the front, even if you don't have a fan in the front, you're gonna want to take off this front panel because I guarantee you there's a lot of dust just piled up behind here. So how you do that is very simple. You have a few clips on the side over here. As you can see, I have one up here. I have one right here and one right here. Where is it? There it is. Yeah, you just easily just push like that. And don't be afraid, these things are pretty sturdy, they shouldn't break on you. You just kind of push and push out. I'm gonna get a good view on this. Push and push out. There, see? That's already half of them off. And I just wanna go to the other side, do the same thing. There's a clip up here. Like that. Uh, for stuff like that, you might want to just get your screwdriver that you were using, push it in, and uh, well, you're gonna need both hands for that, obviously. But same concept, like that, and the one down here. Oh, all right. <laughs> yeah, you do not want to have those wires rip. Those are all your power buttons and USBs and everything that you got in the front. But yeah, there you go. That's how you get it off. And see what I mean? There's so much nasty dust in there. You want to clean all of that. 
All right, well, to get this uh, fan off over here, same concept as uh, about two clips, one on each side over here, one here, and one here, and you just kind of pop it out like so. So yeah, there's a clip here, clip there, pops out, boom. And also, once again, the wires go inside of the case. Just follow it. And uh, unplug it. I'm also probably going to do some wire organization while I'm doing this, which is always a good idea because uh, better wire organization means better airflow. Better airflow means a cooler uh, computer. A cooler computer means better performance and longer long um, longevity so yeah all right well we took out all the fans except this fan up here which i don't really mind since uh it never really gets too dusty i spray it once in a while regardless but right here we got all the fans the three 120 millimeter fans i'm gonna leave the one on the door for now i'm gonna work on the door separately so right here what you want to do let me just uh get a good angle on this here all right so we got the fan we got the can and you just pretty much spray it like so obviously you're not going to get all the dust off of it but you want to get as much as you can Also, do not hold the can upside down or at a very steep angle because it will shoot liquid nitrogen at you. At least I think it's liquid nitrogen. Well, read the can. It's it's, it's pretty dangerous. It, it could be painful. And um, you, you don't want to do that. So yeah, be very careful with this can. Do not have it at too much of an angle. Especially when you do the inside. When you do the inside and you have this at an angle and you get the liquid all over your uh, components, it, it's not a good thing. You don't want that. So yeah, just uh, do every fan as such. Just spray it around. Get all the creases. I like to grab my um, multi-purpose cleaner and a paper towel. Squirt some. And for these fans, I mean, you don't want to make them completely wet, but you do. Wires are all tangled here. Alright, what you do, you want to just wipe the blades, just wipe everything off, and just wipe them down, get in between them. And just as much as possible. I mean, how often are you going to be cleaning your computer, right? Uh, I just like to get between the blades. You don't have to do this, I just. Something extra I like to do just for uh, extra cleanliness. But yeah, you don't want to overdo the water or the liquid, whatever you're using. Yeah, you just give it a nice wipe down. See, nice and shiny. So what you want to do is you want to go from the inside out. You do not want to blow any dust in. You want to blow the dust out. So, I don't know if you can see that, but dust will be flying out of there. You just want to make sure that you blow it out. Dust will be flying around. And that's why you have the mask. This stuff will mess your throat up. Also, the can will get cold. And that's where the paper towels come in once again. Let me show you what I do. I just wrap it around the can, like so. Yeah, the more you use these cans, the, the colder they get and they really start hurting your hands so a uh, nice little paper towel around it and you're good to go okay the power supply now this depends on what kind of power supply you have mine has a vent on one side and a fan on the bottom side so it sucks in air and it pushes it out now in my situation I would just go and where's it okay at an angle and just blow it out just blow it out at an angle. But if you only have a vent, one of those silent power supplies, 
you can just go ahead and try to try your best to just blow it out as much as possible. All right, a couple things here. Number one, if you keep your computer on the floor, the bottom part will also be dusty. Might, might as well get rid of that. And number two, you can see the components better since it's a uh, better lighting. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove my video card here. Almost forgot to mention, there will be a screw right here. And that should be a regular Phillips screw. All right, well I got the video card out. And let me show you how I would go about cleaning this. All right, where the fan um, hole is right here, the fan hole right here, you just want to spray, make sure you get everything out of that location. And then there will be uh, some vents on this side right here. You want to get the back area. There is a vent. Uh, on this side, you want to get the ports and everything, and then on the top there are more vents. So you just want to spray through all the vents, make sure you get uh, at least the majority of the dust out, and that should be sufficient for the video card. Alright, well I just cleaned off my video card in there, stuck it back in, screwed it in, and now it's time for the video capture card. So like I said, it's a PCI uh, card, and you just stick it within those slots. Yeah, um, I'm gonna need both hands for it. Before we put the back back on, uh, you know, give one last spray of the back side. Make sure there's no pieces of dust that might have got stuck somewhere. As you can see, I put some of the wires back here for uh, just so it looks nice. And um, also, you might want to give the front and back a wipe of the. Uh, back portion of the case all right well now that we're that we're done with the main part of the computer we could get to work on this plexiglass door a couple things you want to note this fan has a filter on the other side which is uh, great for keeping out a lot of dust these hinges uh, these things pick up a lot of dust as well so you want to make sure you're thorough with that and uh, for this plexiglass window we're just gonna wipe it down with some of this uh, multi-surface wipe or a uh, chemical I don't know what it is exactly it's not window all right so we took out the fan and the filter and uh, pretty much the filter just goes right on top of it like so you can just wipe it down I mean you could wash it in theory but you just just wipe it down trust me it's enough uh, get your dust off spray right through that same here just spray right through this there's not gonna be a lot of dust on this one considering there's a filter on it uh, you grab this Stick this in all the way. Then you get the one with the, pro uh, the rod at the end, the one that looks like a screw. And you put this right into it. Just push it in. Sorry for the shaky camera once again. And there we go. All right, well, the final steps were to put the door in and uh, screw these thumb screws in the back. And yeah. There you go, you have cleaned your computer successfully without damaging any parts, hopefully. Uh, well, we're going to go and um, I'm going to hook this back up and we're going to see if it's up and running and everything's run, uh, working properly. And uh, yeah, we'll go on from there. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. The computer is up and running and everything is functional. As you can see, I'm loading into Windows right now. It is loading up and we are doing good. And even my little lights are working, my little UV lights, ain't that pretty. Yeah, I organized the wires a little more to the best of my ability, but uh, that's the best I could do for now. Yeah, well, I hope this video was very helpful for many of you that were wondering how to clean a computer. And I hope your uh, cleaning goes as well as mine did. I did, however, switch out the front fan and the back fan. This one is an LED fan, which should be going in the front. That's not a big deal. I mean, it's the same fan, one just has LEDs. Anyways, good luck, guys. See you next time.